Hey guys, what's up? It's once again mp4podcast.com and today we're taking a look at some great Halloween uh, apps and video games for your iPhone, your iPod Touch. Um, some of these games will be really within the Halloween uh, spirit. Some games will be a little bit off to the side of Halloween but still have a creepy feeling. Uh, one of the games I want to talk about is Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein was uh, one of the first, the very first first-person shooter produced by id Software. Uh, you play a U.S. soldier um, trying to take down Hitler's uh, evil Nazi uh, regime, and um, you're trying to stop uh, ro Nazi robots and zombies and all types of weird stuff that the uh, Nazis were working on. Moving on, we have Wolfenstein RPG. Um, it got a lot of good reviews. I haven't had time to check it out, but um, it's going to be a f future review. Seed. Seed also got a lot of good reviews on the App Store, uh, so check that out. I believe Dawn of the Dead only got three stars, but Dawn of the Dead's kind of classic, so you may like it. I'll try to do a review on that later. Uh, moving on, we have Doom. Uh, really, the... Uh, even though Wolfenstein was the first uh, first-person shooter, Doom really rock the world. Uh, you play a marine on planet Mars and you're fighting um, demons from hell from the devil. Um, really great game. Um, what we have right here is Brain Dead. You can see that little purple monster right there. Uh, this is a full motion video game from the 80s. This was uh, uh, first developed for the Pioneer Laserdisc arcade machines and um, what you would have to do is move the character move the joystick um, if the guy was running either you had to run to the door or run upstairs and you had to make the right choice and if you made the right choice uh, the game would continue uh, moving on we have Doom 2 RPG this game also got a lot of good reviews on the App Store I haven't had time to play it but it seems it did pretty well it got four stars out of five um, some other games I will be reviewing is um, Night's Rush, but I haven't had time to play it. Um, moving on, what's more creepy uh, than playing Pac-Man and having some ghosts trying to chomp your ass off? Um, Pac-Man, even though it's not a horror game or anything, it still gives you that tension of running away and trying to survive in that crazy map. Uh, NCIS, so if you're a fan of the TV series, you will enjoy this game it got pretty good reviews it's a mystery game kind of like i believe it's similar to the old click and a click adventures from um lucas arts back in the day paranormal also seemed to do pretty good on the app store i think it might have got four stars i'm not quite sure it's on one of these other, other click uh, click adventure games prince of persia always somewhat has a little bit of a creepy feeling but not not horror-ish but um you do you do have to fight uh, dead skeletons and stuff like that, and it kind of has a little bit of that, uh, those old um, um, Clash of the Titans or Jason the Argonauts with the stop, uh, stop motion uh, video with the uh, skeleton, so that was pretty cool. Um, next up we have Doom Resurrection. I did a full re um, review on this. I did beat it. I really did love the game. It is a real shooter. Uh, that means that you do not make any of the decisions on where you go, wherever the game takes you, that's where you go, and you just shoot the, the, all the bad guys. It's a lot of fun. The graphics are really good. Uh, next up is Space Harrier 2 by uh, Sega. Now, this is kind of a fun game. You play you play a guy who's fighting monsters, and you know, and it's just a fun game. It's kind of a space game. Not really horrorish, but it's a fun game. It's, I just had it right there. Okay, moving on. Uh, zombie. Um, Zombie Infection, um, which is produced by Gameloft. Really great game. Um, I did a review on this, a gameplay review on this. This is a really good game. It's uh, very similar to uh, Resident Evil 4 gameplay, uh, over the shoulder type of the, type of gameplay like that. It does give give you the creeps at times, and it's just as good as a Resident Evil. I highly recommend you guys check this game out. Uh, moving on, this is Terminator. Uh, for the video game, this is the one produced by Gameloft. This game was a lot of fun. It had a lot of, it had a little bit of attention sometimes when you're fighting Terminators and the Terminators are coming at you trying to kill you. And it um, 
there was one scene in it uh, where it was a little bit of a, I thought it was going to die, and I, you have to shut off all these computers and stuff like that so you can kill off Skynet. Really fun game, really uh, recommend it. Moving on, hey, who doesn't love Spider-Man and who didn't want to be Spider-Man as a kid on Halloween? This is one of the best Spider-Man games ever made, period. Okay, I know it's an iPhone game. I know it's an iPod Touch game. This is a great game. So, very, very good quality game. Uh, it's probably might actually be one of my favorite games on the iPhone. You get this fight uh, Venom and a bunch of um, other people that get infected with the, the Venom alien symbiote, whatever. So, check that out. Okay, here we have Bio Defense Zombie. Bio, Bio Defense Zombie is a um, defense game where you have to build stuff like, similar to StarCraft, defend your base and stuff like that. Um, I played the light version, this is, so you guys can check out the demo if you want to play it before you buy it. A lot of really great game. I really liked it. Had a lot of fun playing it. Okay, now we have three applications. Um, and if you're into podcasting, um, now you don't have to get these app uh, these apps if you don't if you want to listen to or watch these podcasts. The Paranormal Report is produced by Clayton Morris and Jim Harold. They cover uh, UFO stories, ghost stories, and paranormal type of stuff. You can go to um, ClaytonMorris.com. Uh, you go to Jim Harold, and I believe they have the Paranormal TV or whatever dot uh, TV website. I'll leave some links in the description box. Now, um, one of the reasons why I have the application is because it's just easy to grab the podcast sometimes and watch it on the, my iPod Touch and my, iPod, my iPhone 3GS and just stream it there instead of downloading it directly to my device. And I can pick up where I left off. Same with Campfire. Campfire is a, is a podcast produced by Jim Harold. And Jim Harold has guests call, uh, call it's like, I believe it's call-in shows, and people can call in and tell them um, uh, their ghost stories to Jim. Paranormal Report is similar to uh, Paranormal, the Paranormal Podcast. This is a, a podcast uh, produced by Jim, and um, covers a lot of ghosts and uh, UFO stories. And this is a, a podcast where he usually has a different guest once a week, sometimes. Now, I just want to go back to the Paranormal Report. They do have a bonus podcast in here. Um, the bonus podcast is about three to five minutes long. And um, so if you buy the application, you get, this is the only way to get the bonus content. Okay, moving on. What's more uh, scary than uh, going out and kicking ass at midnight? Uh, that's Streets of Rage. So if you like a good beat-em-up, like, you know, like the nighttime atmosphere... Check out Streets of Rage. It's a really fun game. Moving on, uh, we have Dexter, the video game. This is a great video game, if, uh, especially if you're a Dexter fan. I do want to point out that this game did have four stars on the App Store before. However, they did um, uh, have an update for the game, and it caused some issues. And now the game is down to three stars. It's a good game. I uh, highly recommend it. Uh, but maybe uh, wait a couple of months um, for another update to fix some of the bugs that they created. Okay, what could probably be the best Halloween game of all time? All, all time. <clears throat> Resident Evil 4 for the iPhone. It's just as creepy, just as scary on the iPhone as it is on the big boys, the consoles, the PS2 the GameCube, the Wii, the computer. I mean, even Resident Evil 5 on Xbox and PS3. This is still very, very creepy. Get it for your iPhone. There's also another Resident Evil, um, Resident Evil Degeneration. This is a, I believe, a side story to the move, the CGI movie, the movie that they made. Uh, they came out last year. It's really good. The only thing I heard that some people complained about, it was a little short. I do want to point out that, you know, don't complain too much if, you know, if it's short. Because these games are only $5. They're not charging $60. Or even last gen that were $50. You know, these games are are shorter. And 
some games, not all the Resident Evil. That's the full one. Spidey Spidey Man was a very uh, pretty long game, but if something only gives you maybe two hours of um, good gameplay. To me, five bucks isn't that bad. That's still better than a movie, and depends on how much you get entertained. Now, I want to point out a very uh, important application, um, and it does creep me out. Uh, however, I thought it was kind of important that I talked about this application. I don't want to um, come off goofy or anything like that. I want to be very serious. This is called Sex Offender. It's a good way to check if you have sex offenders in your neighborhood, um, especially if you have children. You go to the park and you know maybe you might see somebody a little weird. Um, so it's good to know um, who's in your neighborhood. Also, I did check um, the sex offender web, web, website. There is a sex offender website. And some people are, are on that website that are on this application. There are some people there who are on this application who are not on that website. This is a good application to have on your phone. It, it, the first time I did use it, I will be completely honest, um, there is a sex offender probably about eight houses up the street from where I live. Kind of creepy. I'm not going to launch the application. I don't um, want anybody to know who's reviewing this or whatever, but I'll probably do a review on it later. But it is a very creepy, creepy application. So let's go back. W which games would I buy if I was need to have something very, um, the best of the Halloween games? Okay, Resident Evil 4, number one. I would probably pick up the Resident Evil Degeneration as number two. I want to say Dexter is three, but they have to fix the pat fix that problem. Um, Bio Defense, really good game. Uh, that's a good one. Here's another game that may be somewhat, you know, it's a little bit monstrous, um, kind of like a World of Warcraft or Lord of the Rings type of thing. It's called Raven World. I haven't done a review on it. I plan to do one hopefully this week. Uh, Terminator, really good game. I highly recommend it. Uh, Zombie, really like that game a lot. Also, if you just want to have some fun during Halloween, Trench Run, a great Star Wars video game. Um, I believe uh, it's on it's on the web for free. I believe it's a Flash game. Uh, Zombies, I believe this is called Zombies Ate My Baby. Haven't really had time to play that one. Um, Doom, of course, Doom is always a classic. Check out the Doom RPG. NCIS, you know, murders and stuff like that. There's also CSI Miami, I believe, for the iPhone also. Pac-Man, what can I say, running, running away from a uh, ghost. Paranormal, uh, Prince of Persia, Doom Resurrection, that would probably be my third one. So, um, and also, once again, as a reminder, Wolfenstein, the first one, is free on Cydia if you have a jailbroken iPhone. The game is completely free. was made free by id Software. So once again, guys, um, this is mp4podcast.com. And thank you for watching the Halloween special. And please subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. And please leave a thumbs up. Take care, guys, and have a good one. Bye.